What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and I'm here at work. It is lunch break and I have a special episode for you today. A lot of you guys ask me if I work alone at night and no, I don't work alone. <laughs> here is my coworker. Hello. Hi. So she is here today and I'm going to basically just interview her. We're going to have some conversations, answer some of your guys' questions. She's actually the reason why I got into ultrasound. It's her. It's like full <laughs> circle, you guys. So when you guys comment on my channel, when you guys say like, oh, I've been wanting to do ultrasound, like you're motivating me, like this is the reason why I do ultrasound. So I'm gonna give her the floor and I'm gonna let her introduce herself and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so I'm Janessa. Uh, so I've known Giselle for a while. 2012. Oh yeah, 2012. Eight years. Yeah, yeah. We were both in the same sorority, so that's how we met each other. Mm -hmm. um, and then I remember her telling me one day she wanted to an ultrasound tech so she had always um came to me and asked me a bunch of questions while she was in school i she, asked all her, all the questions y'all <laughs> but she paid me back because when there was an opening here she actually messaged me and that's how i got to this job <laughs> and then it's full circle guys yeah. yeah so now she works here we're co-workers we're sisters we're friends literally you become family with all of your co-workers ultrasound techs and whatnot so we're gonna go through with the questions okay, <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and see these are questions asked by you guys first question were you intimidated when you first started your program it's my first week in my program yay um, definitely. I think a lot of people are always intimidated when they first start anything, um, especially with ultrasound because you just don't know what you're getting yourself into. Um, so definitely I felt very intimidated. Uh, I actually started without any friends, but you do make friends along the way. I definitely had my little group where we always study together we, and I still keep in touch with some of them. So, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is intimidating when you first start out because like you really don't know what you're getting yourself into. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when you go into it, you really have no clue. But now all these people have YouTube and can figure oh, out what's you going guys are on. So lucky. Because <laughs> I never YouTubed anything back then. Same, like, makes me sound super old, but I'm not. But like, not yeah, for sure. And I feel like with Giselle, like having me too, that kind of helped. So I also had yeah. someone to message, another sister actually, mm -hmm. um, Jerry. Mm -hmm. So I had her to like ask questions and everything. And yeah, as long yeah. as you have a support system and you honestly like just stick through with it, you will be fine. Yeah, study hard and yeah. Yep. Be a good student. Be a good student, for <laughs> sure. Be a good student. Okay, next question. Do sonographers feel burnout? Uh, <laughs> I won't say all the time, but like any other job too, I feel like you can get burnt out if you do too much. Mm -hmm. I feel like you need a perfect work-life balance. And sometimes it's kind of hard to do when you're first getting into like a new job or or whatever but you have to remember to always take care of yourself anytime that i'm feeling burnt out i either take it out like i go to the gym or i go shopping or i take time off go on vacations that's what keeps me sane at the end of the day i still love my job so that should always be important but you also have to know when to take a break yeah i mean with any job burnout is a real thing and you just have to take care of yourself if you feel like you're overwhelmed be honest with the company be honest with your coworkers. Mm -hmm. like everyone's understandable and the healthcare field is not an easy field to be in but a lot of us are in it because we want to be in it and we want to help people and we want to take care of people yeah burnout is real and everyone was asking me too like how how do you do two jobs it's not like they're forcing you to always work. You can take control of your schedule as well. I recently just got a second job. Yep. But it's like more so <laughs> like something just that it, it wasn't something that I chose to mm -hmm. make it more stressful for myself. So yep. literally like it's like one or two days every other week or something. So it's definitely nothing too much 
that that I can't handle. Yeah. Um, so always think that you don't always have to have two jobs, but if you do, remember to rest when you can or have to. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm used to having two jobs, but I I mean, you feel burnout at certain points, but at the same time, like I feel like I can handle it. Right? Yeah. So some people can handle it, some people can't. Right. And that leads into the next question, which is like, do stenographers ever work 12 hour shifts or four days working and three days off? So basically Ashley is asking about <laughs> the schedule. Um, I did tell a friend on one of the comments that another coworker of ours works three 12s. Mm -hmm. And then um, she also has another job and works like one or two days yeah. out of the week for that as well. And so see how you can kind of choose how you want to do it. So right. what do you think about um, the schedule? <laughs> <laughs> so I work three twelves um, and I am uh, I'm like Giselle. It, it's a set schedule. So I work three days in a row. I do graveyards. There's pros and cons to it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm used to it at this point and sometimes I prefer it, most of the time I do actually because how many people can say you work less than you like or you have more days off than you work. Yeah. Like not a lot of people can say that. I do cherish my days off, that's my time to relax and wind and then when I come back to work I'm refreshed and I can do my job so it's not too bad. But it just kind of depends on where you work. Usually hospitals, at least here, we either have 12 hour shifts or four, or sorry, four tens. Mm -hmm. Outpatients usually they'll have like five eights. So it honestly just depends where you work. With that being said, do you think that making money is better at outpatient or is it better at hospital or okay, so money, money, money? Good question because <laughs> I actually have worked both before working at a hospital. <laughs> so before coming, um, working here at the hospital, I worked at an outpatient clinic for three years. I've been at the hospital for, this is my third year actually. I don't know how it is like at other location in other states, but mm -hmm. here in Vegas, I can definitely say that you make more money at the hospital. I don't know if that's like a trending thing everywhere else, but that is how it's like here, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. With that, there are trade-offs like hospitals, there's never, it never closes. So you most likely will have to work weekends or holidays. Um, so I think that's maybe why we don't like, you know, hospitals pay more. Whereas outpatient, usually you're off at like at certain times, there's usually no graveyard shifts, but you also get weekends off or you get holidays off. So it's really up to you at the end of the day, how I say it, money isn't everything. So whatever makes you happy, whatever's important to you, then go for it. Yeah, that's a good answer. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not all about money, but it's, it's where you are at in life too. Are you trying to make money, save money? Are you trying to just have a career that you enjoy going right. to and doing? Or spend time with family. Yeah. Like sometimes I know time is more precious. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, just like we don't, yeah. Yeah. we don't have kids. Yeah, we don't have kids. <laughs> so we're like at our prime trying to just make money and save money mm -hmm. right, for our future. Exactly. So yeah, so she's been she worked outpatient for three years, and then she worked hospital for like now three years. Okay. Eventually, what is your plan? Like, do you feel like you're gonna go back to outpatient? Do you want to stay in hospital? Like, what do you see yourself doing? So Giselle and I talk about this all the time, <laughs> um, and I've given it a lot of thought too. I think right now at this point in my life, I am okay working here at the hospital because right now you know i'm trying to save money i just got a new house and i have a lot of things to pay for um and again i don't have kids so it's kind of easier for me to have this crazy schedule but when it comes down to it later on down the road who knows when <laughs> but you know if if i wanted to start a family i don't see myself wanting to stay on a graveyard shift I guess if I wanted to spend more time with my family, I wouldn't want to be stuck in a graveyard shift. Like mm -hmm. I would want to have a more set schedule during the day. And so I see myself going back to outpatient, but that might not be for a while. Mm -hmm. Unless, you know, something good comes along and um, I can't pass that opportunity up. Because for me, I always want to grow as a tech. So it's just whatever point in my life is 
yeah. then then I'll choose then that. I'll choose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hard because sometimes when I think about it, you know, because I'm per diem, sometimes I don't know like when's the opportunity going to come? Should mm-hmm. I become full time? But like I can't think about it because it's not happening yet. Right. So whatever point, whenever that, yeah. when the opportunity comes, then you have you'll to decide. Decide and, and weigh it out. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because a lot of people always ask, you know, about per diem, full time, what they should do. But it's also sometimes hard to get full time because a lot of people stay. Like yes. there's one hospital <laughs> in the city that like it's so Nobody hard to get full time. Yeah, no <laughs> one leaves, and that's a good thing. People yeah. like the job. Mm-hmm. They like the stability. You know, they like the pay. I'm assuming, and they like the job. So it is a good field to go into. Oh, um, that's So uh, last couple thoughts here. What advice would you give to a student? Or somebody who like wants to do ultrasound? I would say if you're just thinking about it, definitely do your research. See if this is something that you definitely want to uh, get into. Um, it is a very what rewarding. Do you want to for? <gasps> <laughs> that scares Who's that? Me. Oh, your watch. watch. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> Who's that? Who's here? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> like I said, yeah, do your research. See if this is something that you want to do. It isn't for everybody. It isn't for the faint of heart. Mm-hmm. But it is a very rewarding career. It's a very stable career. I don't see ultrasound going anywhere. Mm-hmm. It is very fun to do if you love to learn. Because I come to work and I feel like I learn something new every day. Yeah. If you are in the program already, don't feel overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. I know it's harder <laughs> to say uh, because I know exactly how you're feeling. But yeah. you just have to uh, keep going. Like mm-hmm. you don't have to be the smartest book, you know, to to do ultrasound. I'm a hands-on learner. I was like okay in school, but like when I actually went into my clinical site, that's when I pretty much, you know, shined. Like mm-hmm. I I was a natural scanner, you know, or I was a fast learner because I'm a visual learner. So don't let that stop you. You just have to like keep going because anything in life worth doing is going to be challenging. Have a good support system, make friends in your clinical class because you guys will definitely be each other's rocks. Just be open to learn. Mm-hmm. That's be great open advice. To learn new yes. things because <laughs> you're going to learn new things every day pretty mm-hmm. much. The and learning never ends. The learning never ends, pretty much. So yeah. that's my my biggest advice, I guess. And what you said, what did you say in the beginning? Like, be a good student. Yeah, be a good student. Be a good student. <laughs> you're always gonna kind of be a student. There, exactly. you're not gonna know everything in mm-hmm. this field. You're gonna think you know everything no. sometimes, but you don't. You I really still don't. have days where I'm. I have to ask for help. Mm-hmm. So, oh, and that's another thing. If you need help, ask for it. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid to, because I'm sure. Everybody here has been at that point and they would be glad to help you. Yeah. Ask Giselle questions. Yeah. You can ask me questions. Uh, um, <laughs> Even though you just met her. Yeah, Look at yeah, that. She... She's so nice, you guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, like, just don't be afraid to ask. Yes. And I always tell them all the time, like, ask questions. Mm-hmm. Like, don't be afraid to ask because if you don't ask, you will never, never know. know. Exactly. Whoa! Yeah, Whoa. see? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Janice, for being here Yay. at work. Thank you for having me. It's, like, super early in the morning. I know, but... you guys. But we're, <laughs> we're, we're like, in there. <laughs> you know, we're almost done. Um, but I really wanted to get her on here. She is literally the one that got me into this. And I just hope that it gives you guys some motivation. If you guys like this kind of thing, comment down below. We can get more ultrasound technologists in these videos so you can hear more from them, not just me. I have a Mm -hmm. ton of ultrasound friends, obviously. And we love just, we're nice people. Yeah, (laughs) I love to help. I love to inspire people. people. <laughs> so with that being said, she actually has an Instagram. I do. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely not ultrasound It's not related. ultrasound related at all, you guys. Um, but if you're 21 and older. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, if you're 21 and you're older. So yeah, what I do in my free time, I love going to movies and I love playing out with beers. So if you like that kind of stuff, um, you can go ahead and follow me at catching flights with jay so cute. and <laughs> if you have any ultrasound questions too it doesn't have to be beer related you can also ask me that's fine mm-hmm. um and yeah <laughs> <laughs> yay <laughs> yeah so i'll put her information in the description box below anything else you want to say 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm like my brain's all like jumbled up.、Right、I know,、now. right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay.、Yeah, that means we, that means we have to back to work. Go back to work. <laughs> we gotta clock back in. Oh, yeah. That printer tells us when we have new exams to do. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you.、Uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>